Step Into the World of Mama's Family, a TV series that's not just a comedy, but a roller coaster of emotions. No need for a time machine. We're heading back to 1983 when this gem first hit the screens. Imagine a quirky Southern family led by the indomitable Thelma Harper, better known as Mama. But hold on tight, because this isn't your average sitcom. Mama's Family serves up a mix of funny, surprising, and sometimes downright sad moments that'll keep you hooked from episode one. Ever found yourself chuckling at a particular scene that stuck with you? Well, Mama's Family is full of those. Whether it's sharp wit or the family's antics, there's a timeless charm that leaves a lasting impact. And speaking of impact, has the show ever inspired or shaped your own life story? Share your personal connection with this classic series, but the journey doesn't stop there. As we delve deeper into the series, prepare for more surprises. We want to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Mama's family. Drop your stories and memories in the comments below. We're all ears. So, are you ready for the laughs, shocks, and a touch of nostalgia? Keep watching the show and let the good times roll. Your stories are the missing pieces to this TV puzzle, and we can't wait to uncover them. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the show? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Mama's Family, a classic TV series from 1983, has a timeless appeal with its humor and well-portrayed characters. One key element is the relationship between Thelma Harper, also known as Mama, and her son Vinton. Mama's disapproval of Vinton's wife, Naomi, might be due to financial concerns like the family's living situation and Mama's inability to claim them as tax deductions. The show is praised for its quality and unique comedy, offering a refreshing change from more explicit content in modern sitcoms. Mama's family stands out by delivering laughs without relying on suggestive humor. If you're looking for a break from today's comedic trends, the show's well-developed characters and consistently amusing storylines will bring joy. For many fans, Mama's Family is a favorite. The show excels in delivering humor without addressing major problems or serious issues. The characters, including the sharp-tongued Thelma, the dim-witted Vinton, quirky Naomi, juvenile-turned-good-grandson Bubba, and nosy neighbor Iola, create a comedic ensemble that resonates with audiences. The syndicated years, marked by Thelma's sharp wit and sarcastic humor, are particularly enjoyable. Despite some episodes in the first two seasons, the syndicated years are often considered the most cherished. The characters, portrayed by a likable cast, contribute to the show's appeal. Aspiring actors appreciate the cast's dedication to staying in character, even when suppressing laughter. While opinions may vary, some critics argue the show may seem over the top at times, However, this perceived exaggeration adds to the unique charm of Mama's family. The series provides a refreshing departure from today's television, offering humor from a dysfunctional yet endearing family. In summary, Mama's family remains a comedic gem that has stood the test of time. Thelma Harper's character challenges conventional expectations of age with feistiness and sarcastic flair. Through various escapades, from riding a wrecking ball to running for mayor, Thelma shows that age is just a state of mind. Fans eagerly await the show's availability on DVD, as it continues to bring laughter to those fortunate enough to discover this rare comedic treasure. In the early seasons of Mama's Family, viewers enjoyed unique introductions by Harvey Corman as Alastair Quince in select episodes. His appearances added an extra layer of humor and charm, setting the tone for the comedic roller coaster that followed. Digging into the character details, it's worth noting that Iola, the nosy neighbor, has the middle name Lucille. This small piece of information adds a touch of depth to her character, showcasing the meticulous attention to detail in the show's writing. As the series unfolds, the romantic escapades of Naomi become apparent. Her journey involves three marriages, first to Tommy Ray, then Leonard Oates, and finally to Vinton. These twists in her love life contribute to the show's narrative dynamics, introducing both humor and a glimpse into the complexities of relationships. These nuggets of information about Alastair Quince, Iola's middle name, and Naomi's multiple marriages highlight the show's commitment to character development and storytelling. Mama's family doesn't just rely on comedic situations, it weaves a story that explores the quirks and nuances of its characters' lives. These fresh insights complement the earlier exploration of Mama's disapproval of Vinton's wife, Naomi, and the unique comedic ensemble that defines the show. 
The series, cherished for its timeless appeal, continues to captivate audiences with its humor and storytelling prowess. In summary, Mama's Family, with its distinctive character introductions, attention to character details, and entertaining romantic subplots, remains a comedic gem that keeps audiences engaged with its humor and storytelling. Betty White and Rue McClanahan, famous for their roles in The Golden Girls, shared the screen with their talent when Mama's Family entered syndication. The shift from the refined humor of The Golden Girls to the down-to-earth comedy of Mama's Family showcased the versatility of these seasoned actresses. Interestingly, Vicki Lawrence, who played the formidable Thelma Harper, turned out to be the youngest among her on-screen offspring. With an age difference ranging from 16 to 27 years, Lawrence injected youthful energy into the show, creating a compelling dynamic with the rest of the cast. In terms of consistency, only two actors, Vicki Lawrence and Ken Berry, remained throughout all 130 episodes of the series. Alan Kaser, joining in the third season, marked his presence in all 95 syndicated episodes, adding a fresh perspective to the established ensemble. The commitment of Lawrence and Barry to their roles contributed to the show's lasting appeal. Barry's introduction in the third season and Kaser's subsequent inclusion brought new life to the series, maintaining its comedic essence. As the show progressed, the unique character introductions by Harvey Corman as Alastair Quince added an extra layer of humor and charm. Corman's contribution showcased the show's dedication to exploring diverse comedic avenues, providing viewers with fresh perspectives in select episodes. Digging into character details, the revelation of Iowa's middle name, Lucille, highlighted the meticulous attention to character development. Such nuances in the writing elevated the characters beyond mere comedic stereotypes, contributing to the layered nature of Mama's family. The romantic escapades of Naomi, portrayed by a skilled ensemble, added depth to the narrative dynamics. Her journey through three marriages offered a glimpse into the complexities of relationships, blending humor with storytelling to captivate the audience. In conclusion, Mama's Family stands as a unique blend of humor and storytelling that goes beyond conventional sitcom expectations. The commitment of the actors, coupled with fresh perspectives and attention to character details, ensures that the show endures as a timeless comedic gem. In most episodes, characters in Mama's family don matching attire, a distinctive feature that adds visual consistency. Mama opts for blue or purple, Vinton sports tan, Naomi dons yellow, Iola prefers pink, and Bubba sticks to green. This intentional wardrobe choice subtly reinforces character identity throughout the series. The third season witnessed the departure of Ed and Eunice Higgins from the storyline, a move prompted by the characters relocating to Florida, leaving their son Bubba under Thelma Harper's care. This shift in the narrative provided an opportunity for fresh dynamics within the show, allowing other characters to take center stage. Lorna Luft, initially considered for the role of Iola, was the producer's initial preference. Her casting would have brought a different energy to the character. However, the eventual choice of another actress for the role suggests that casting decisions played a pivotal role in shaping the unique ensemble of Mama's family. These behind-the-scenes insights into wardrobe choices, character exits, and casting decisions shed light on the meticulous planning that went into crafting the series. The deliberate use of colors, strategic character departures, and casting preferences all contribute to the distinct flavor that defines Mama's family.